Jacob's twin sister, Evie, the master of stealth. Evie has her own unique story, skill tree, and stealth abilities. This is what we call a black box mission, where you choose your own path to achieve your goal. Lots of guards, predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. We are now approaching the iconic Tower of London. Evie suspects that the vault of the tower might contain the shroud. Pieces of Eden are artifacts created by the ancient first civilization and are sources of great power. Each of the doors to the tower is being watched by royal guards. To avoid attracting too much attention, let's find another way in. Let's use the iconic assassin rope launcher to scale the building. We're now reaching the vantage point highlighted by the eagle icon. Vantage points are the starting points for all of our black box missions. Black box missions follow the Assassin's Creed Syndicate 360 philosophy. It's about giving the players a goal and letting them choose how to achieve it. In this mission, we need to assassinate Lucy Thorne, a powerful Templar also looking for the Shroud. The Shroud is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort it to the keys! Halt! Who comes out? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. Pass, Queen Victoria's keys. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until You've I get You've just seen out. hints on different approaches to the mission. It's up to you to decide whether to choose an opportunity presented or create your own opportunity based on your playstyle. Before we continue the walkthrough, let's have a quick look at two of the different paths. The first option we'll show is stealing the tower master key. You need to steal the master key from the guard captain. Then you need to make your way unnoticed to the top of the tower. Then enter the locked door and sneak past Lucy's guard and surprise the target from above. But let's choose another path. Our second option is to liberate the constable taken hostage by the Templar. We need to infiltrate the building first, take out the Templars inside the house, use the new Voltaic Bomb, incapacitating multiple enemies at once, get the key to the room where the constable is locked in, get the constable's help to rally his troops, and take the Templars head on. But let's choose another path, one that better suits and highlights Evie's unique stealth capabilities. In the opening sequence, we saw a guard attacking an imposter. Let's go see what's going on. The player's options are highlighted in the environment with different icons. We want to reach the skull icon to investigate this opportunity. We will need to be careful not to get detected by the royal guards in charge of patrolling the tower. In order to reach the guard, we'll use Evie's chameleon ability as we have to go through the garden. This skill is unique to Evie and allows her to become virtually invisible to the enemy, even on open ground. Once Evie has acquired the chameleon skill, it will trigger automatically when you stay still in stealth mode. This skill is also available in the open world when you're playing as Evie. This is the guard we saw at the beginning of the mission. He is a Tower of London guard and a friend of Henry Green, the master assassin of London. We need to reach him and talk with him. You're one of Green's friends, aren't you? Thank heavens you've come. That Thorn woman has Templars everywhere, disguised as guards. I think I could pass as one of them long enough to sneak you inside, except the guards out here already know my face. You need to deal with them first. Meet me by the White Tower when you're ready. He tipped us on the presence of Templars disguised as guards in the Tower of London. We need to take them out allowing us to get closer to our target.
we can use Eagle Vision to identify our enemy and take a closer look at the environment. We have identified one of the disguised Templar guards. The real tower guards are highlighted in blue. We need to be careful not to be spotted by them as their job is to protect the tower. Once again, we see the chameleon skill in action, allowing Evie to get close to her target unnoticed. One Templar guard out, one to go. Another one of Evie's unique skills is Knife Master, allowing her to carry more throwing knives and inflict more damage with them than her brother. This suits Evie's stealthy style. A simple headshot will take care of the enemy from a distance, ensuring we remain undetected for the time being. Now that we've taken out both Templar guards, let's get back to our guard ally. That's all for the men out here. What's next? Miss Thorne wants me captured. If she sees me in chains, she might let her guard down. Can you make it look convincing? You mean pretend like you're my prisoner? I'll do my best, Mum. If we get too close, those Templars might realize I'm not one of theirs. Then let's keep our distance. Evie is pretending as if she was captured to safely get close to her target. However, the player remains in complete control of Evie and the guard. As you can see, there's a circle below Evie. You need to make sure you keep your enemies away from that detection circle, or they will figure out something is wrong. I've caught the assassin! Open the door! Inform Miss Thorne I'm bringing in the assassin! I knew. Stand up to Miss Thorne. We are now getting closer to our target. Our strategy seems to be working, and we're passing right under the nose of the Templars protecting Lucy Thorne. Your brother will be next, my dear. I found her wandering inside the walls, ma'am. <clears throat> Thought you'd want to speak with her. Welcome, Miss Fry. Do you care to tell me where the shroud is? As you wish. I shall find it without your help. And then I'll strangle you with it. Watch her closely. <laughs> I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. Tell me then. Those were just a few of the options available to complete this mission, and only a taste of the 360 philosophy you will see throughout Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Thanks for watching. The city of London was the economic and financial heart of London in the 19th century. 
The borough fully embodies the hustle and bustle spirit associated with Victorian London. Booming businesses, busy sidewalks, and even busier streets. New to our game are iconic modes of transportation, including trains and carriages. Omnipresent in Victorian London, carriages will change how you play Assassin's Creed. You can take the reins and traverse the city faster than ever before. You can also hide in them, adding another tool to your stealth game, or run over targets and enemies. The possibilities are endless. In this mission, Jacob wants to take over one of the Templars' control gangs in order to build an army against the Templars that run the city. To do so, he will need to conquer the borough by dislodging the enemy gang from their stronghold. Not unlike big cities today, rich and poor share the same environment. Even the richest neighborhood, like Westminster, had areas where the police would not dare set foot. These slums were where street gangs ruled. With the simple push of a button, we'll activate stealth mode as we are entering enemy-controlled territory. Also new to our game, the rope launcher will change the way you navigate throughout the city. With this new tool, you can climb the highest building in seconds or a zip line from rooftop to rooftop. Let's trigger Eagle Vision to study our surroundings. We can see that one of our allies is in trouble. Let's give him a hand. We first need to eliminate the lookout to make sure he doesn't call reinforcements. The throwing knives will take him out silently. We are facing a lot of enemies, so the head first approach is probably not a good idea. Also new to our game is the ability to use the environment to take out your enemy. Another one of our allies is in trouble. Let's take care of this before it's too late for him. Now that our ally is free, for the help, we'll ask him to assist us in our fight for this slum. Here is the stronghold leader, highlighted in yellow. Let's try to take him out with stealth, as he is more dangerous than common thugs. We'll use the hallucinogenic darts to turn our enemies against one another.
this slum is now one, and your gang occupies the territory. Oh. Well, well. The assassins have come crawling out of their holes, have they? Damn it, boys! Deal with this! We were caught in a trap orchestrated by Bloody Nora, one of the seven Templar gang leaders. Her rule of the borough has been one of cruelty and suffering. We need to take her out once and for all. Let's go. Bloody Nora's thugs are trying to make sure you don't get to her, ramming our carriage to kill her. Our carriage has taken some damage but seems to be holding up. confrontation between your gang and your rival for the ultimate control of the borough. Jacob feels right at home in these fights, thanks to our new fighting system, as it is faster and more responsive than ever before. Hi, I'm Lydia Andrew, audio director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Welcome to 1868 London, at the height of the Industrial Revolution. The mission you're about to see happens in Westminster, in central London. London is under the corrupt grip of the Templars, who use street gangs to strike fear into the working class. Jacob Fry will fight to earn power and respect as he grows his gang to take control of London from the underground up. These people are tired of living under your boot heel. You're a bully, Mr. Strain. And I find I'm not overly fond of bullies. You are not on the payroll, Mr. Fry. Your opinion is no concern of mine. Here, Jacob will use his gang, the Rooks, to confront the Templar's band of thugs in a gang war street brawl. Our new combat system is more brutal and focuses on hand-to-hand -hand and short weapons. The target is escaping. Jacob will pursue him and let the Rooks battle it out. For the first time ever in an Assassin's Creed game, we will have fully systemic vehicles that will impact each of our core pillars, navigation, stealth and fight. Players will also be able to ram their pursuers, but be aware that enemies will also be able to use this against you, ramming you off the road or hijacking your vehicle. To allow combat on top of vehicles, we've enabled carriages to independently follow targets on the road while the player takes care of the opposition. With our vehicle damaged, let's change carriage before this one falls apart. The target's taken refuge in London's Victoria train station, one of the many historical locations you'll be exploring, teeming with life and gameplay opportunities. Jacob has lost his target and will need to use the rope launcher, our new traversal tool, which helps you quickly go up and across buildings. The rope launcher can also be used as a horizontal fast travel, making navigation faster and easier. The target's getting away on the train. Let's see what we can do to reach him. 
trains were an important part of the era and will offer a wealth of new gameplay opportunities. As per Assassin's tradition, Jacob's all-new weapon, the cane, includes a hidden blade. Death accomplishes nothing, Assassin. Guided by our firm hands, society will flourish, driven by speed, ingenuity, and efficiency to a glorious future. The people will obey only us. We will defend this new world against criminals like you. I believe the world has other plans. And that's it for today's demo. Hope you enjoyed this E3 preview of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We can't wait to show you more soon. Let me show you what I mean in this first gameplay walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's reckless. It's clever. The blighters control every criminal enterprise in the city. If they work for us... Yes, but they work for the Templars. Oh, no, they're paid off by the Templars. Slight difference. If we take control of the gangs, we take control of London from the bottom up. You are talking about building yourself an army. Miss Fry, tell him this is complete madness. You need to consolidate your control. I can keep the rival gangs and the police from sweeping in and seizing the territory. You can't very well send Bloody Nora an engraved invitation. We have no idea where they hold up. Yeah, we do. You found them? The Blighties are operating out of the rookery. Bloody Nora will be there. Good work, Clara. Tremendous work. Jacob. Can't talk now, Henry. Duty calls. To your health. Apologies, Mr. Green. We are now in the city of London, one of the seven boroughs that you'll experience in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The city of London was the economic and financial heart of London in the 19th century. The borough fully embodies the hustle and bustle spirit associated with Victorian London, booming businesses, busy sidewalks, and even busier streets. New to our game are iconic modes of transportation, including trains and carriages. Omnipresent in Victorian London, carriages will change how you play Assassin's Creed. You can take the reins and traverse the city faster than ever before. You can also hide in them, adding another tool to your stealth game or run over targets and enemies. The possibilities are endless. In this mission, Jacob wants to take over one of the Templars' control gangs in order to build an army against the Templars that run the city. To do so, he will need to conquer the borough by dislodging the enemy gang from their stronghold. Not unlike big cities today, rich and poor share the same environment. Even the richest neighborhood, like Westminster, had areas where the police would not dare set foot. These slums were where street gangs ruled. With the simple push of a button, we'll activate stealth mode as we are entering enemy-controlled territory. Also new to our game, the rope launcher will change the way you navigate throughout the city. With this new tool, you can climb the IS building in seconds or a zip line from rooftop to rooftop. Let's trigger Eagle Vision to study our surroundings. We can see that one of our allies is in trouble. Let's give him a hand. 
we first need to eliminate the lookout to make sure he doesn't call reinforcements. The throwing knives will take him out silently. We are facing a lot of enemies, so the head first approach is probably not a good idea. Also new to our game is the ability to use the environment to take out your enemies. Another one of our allies is in trouble. Let's take care of this before it's too late for him. Are you in danger, no, citizen? You don't look the slightest bit disreputable. Please don't start any trouble. Here now, he's over here. <laughs> Now that our ally is free, for the help, we'll ask him to assist us in our fight for this slum. Here is the strong old leader, highlighted in yellow. Let's try to take him out with stealth, as he is more dangerous than common tugs. We'll use the hallucinogenic darts to turn our enemies against one another. This slum is now won, and your gang occupies the territory. Well, well. The assassins have come crawling out of their holes, have they? Damn it, boys! Deal with this! We were caught in a trap orchestrated by Bloody Nora, one of the seven Templar gang leaders. Her rule of the borough has been one of cruelty and suffering. We need to take her out once and for all. Let's go. Come on. Foster. Go. Bloody Norse thugs are trying to make sure you don't get them, ramming our carriage to kill them. Our carriage has taken some damage but seems to be holding up. all-out confrontation between your gang and your rival for the ultimate control of the borough. Jacob feels right at home in these fights, thanks to our new fighting system, as it is faster and more responsive than ever before.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. Available October 23rd. Eighteen sixty eight, the center of the industrialized world. Profits see progress while workers never sleep. Slavery not only comes through irons and chains, but through our very struggle to survive. Time for a change. Enough of those who seek only their own gain. We're amidst an industrial revolution. The telegraph, electricity, are changing the way that we live, shaping our future. But it must be a future for everyone. A different revolution is rising, more subtle. A blaze from the ashes of an old brotherhood. We shall rise. Street gangs will be our armies. The slums our fortress. They say this is the modern era. I say, it's time for a rebirth, and we shall lead the way. So... It's a bloody marvelous time to be alive. An age of invention. So many clever blokes dreaming up impossible machines. Sorting away more gold than Queen Victoria herself. But none of those shillings ever makes it into the pockets of the poor devils whose blood is spilled building this glorious empire. The working class sleepwalks through life unaware of the machine that drives them. Let's wake them up then, shall we?